Ah. Hmm. The earth has changed quite a bit since I have been here. Oh, welcome. To whom are we talking? I am in the lineage of Jesus. I am David. Oh, welcome, David. So nice to hear you. I'm not going to stay long, but I do want to point out a few things about the comparison between our age and yours. I've not been back to the earth for many centuries. But when I was here, I made many mistakes and did many things that were not right. But God still forgave. Do you know why I was able to get close to God again? It's because I realized that the soul is God and that He was with me even in my times of great mistakes. He allowed me to come forth again after all that shame and help me to forgive myself. And many of you are going through very similar things. Not that you have killed or have hurt anyone or have lied and cheated. Well, I'm sure some of you have. But I was guilty of all these things and more. But connect to your God Spirit. This is your strength. This is your only way to know the real truth. You may hear a lot of things from a lot of people, but you and God are connected in a true singular line of light and love. Connect to that, and you will know the truth, and you will not have to listen to a lot of people with a lot of different ideas. You will know that within yourself, you are complete with that connection. And that, with that, I want to say much love. Is there someone, or many someones, who have a question for me? Do Will, would you like to go? Yes, I would. Much love, David. It's been a and long time. Much love to you, Will. Yeah, Sheer and I have a connection with you, which is also relevant to Abraham, and we. We aren't quite clear on that connection. Abraham David was in the line of David as well. Yes. So we are connected. And Jesus was in that line as well. However, we are different aspects. And we are different souls. My soul was not like the soul of Jesus, although we are related. Do you understand that? Yes. But your connection to Abraham is about the law. You have been people that follow the law and have been taught much about the law. And it is time for you to see the law for what it is. It is a boundary. It is a guideline. It is not solidified in your actions. You must follow who you are as a true individual. And it is not the law that makes you so. It is only the law that guides you and gives you a guideline. Do you understand this? Now, yes. Abraham, sure, yourself and myself, we're all in the same bloodline. You were someone in the past that was related to me, related to Abraham, and now you and Sheer are now people on this planet on this time that have relationships with people of the past and people you've known the Christ um, entity many times 
And you've known the bloodline of David many times. Are you aware of this? Absolutely. And Sheer, are you aware of this? He is now. That is your connection. You are you are men of the law. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. And to me, the law is love. Exactly. It, you see, it is not a bunch of rules and regulations that you must follow. It is a guideline of how love should act. But you must not let it be solid. You must not let these exact words come into your life and be set in stone, so to speak. Although in the past, they were set in stone so that the wayward would not go astray. In this day and age, they are there for you to look at and know that some of it will resonate with who you are in this lifetime, and some of it is just a guideline for how to live your life. Does this answer your question? It, it, it does. And to expand on that, how to check my understanding, is I'm getting that the love is going to be the same in every now, but how Correct. we apply how we apply the love in this now in this given situation will be different. Correct. And the reason that you will apply it differently is your connection to God is different. You're not going through the law. You're not going through people. You're going direct. Which is. <laughs> What this age of Aquarius is all about is direct connect. It's a direct connection. And this will change much because those that must connect through people or through words or through the law will have a, a sketchy connection. The only way to have the best connection, the only connection, is direct. Yes, I, and I'm connecting in with Sheer, and I still sense he wants some... Can you talk, talk directly to Sheer? And yes. The love that you are going to show to the world will come directly from God. It will not come from a book, a belief, a thought process, other people, dogma, or anything. The guidelines of the law which you have been taught will fall away because they're not necessary if you're directly connected to God. If you're directly connected to God, how is it that you're going to break all those laws that are written? You're going to want to follow. You're going to want to be like him. You're going to want to emulate that spirit which you feel inside, which is you. Also, you are the unique person that he made you so therefore your uniqueness will only be as great as it can be through the direct question direct connection to God also do you realize that most of your brain is not being used why is that your soul is connected to the brain and opens up those portions of the brain that need to be opened for your particular uniqueness. And so if you connect directly to God, God's connection to you will open up those passageways in the brain that you need to carry out those things that your uniqueness is all about. But remember, your uniqueness is in love. And love is the only way to carry out your uniqueness. Does that answer your question better? Excellent. Thank you so much, David. Sheer, my brother Sheer and I give deep gratitude. Much love. Very well. Namaste. And I will move on. Much love to you, as that expression tells me, 
that there is much love to give. Can you answer one more question, or do you have time? Yes. Okay, Christine, do you want to go ahead? Greetings and blessings, David. Greetings, Christine. Um, I'd like to know, um, is the bloodline you're referring to on the female side or the male side? Because you could it always goes through females as well. You can be a bloodline of Christ, of David, of Adam, of Moses. Yes, females are in the bloodline as well. In fact, they are the creators. They're the ones that the males and females are born from. So yes, you are in the bloodline as well. How can you not be? Thank you, David. You're welcome. And, okay. and it is beautiful had... that the female is part of the bloodline because they have a wisdom within them that is different than the wisdom of man. They are created unique. God has given them the psyche of the female in the mother-father-God aspect. The female is that side of God that is to offset the male and to bring him into question and to bring everything into alignment because there is the, the differences and uniquenesses that God has and the different aspects of himself are so much and varied but have many many purposes because ah can you ride can you ride a turtle into town no you must ride a horse or some being or some animal that is meant to be ridden however the turtle has its place as well you see the differences in all the unique things that God created and the different aspect of female in the line of David does not make her any less holy but makes her unique in the fact that she can create and bear fruit that males cannot. Wonderful. All right, I have just one more question from Bianca. She can't speak, though, so I will just read it for her. And she asks if she has a connection to you or Jesus and the lineage, and if there are any messages for her. The message for you is not to lose faith or not to listen to those voices around you. Because the voice inside is the strongest and the loudest and the most correct. You are on the right path. And you have the connections to the lineage that are necessary. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you so much. And now we will let you go. If there are no questions in the room there with you. Yes. No one can hear you without speaking into this space. Oh, yes. Okay, David, are there any questions in the room there with you? Yes, he is named David. Hello. Um, Speak into this. Is there, uh, is there any messages for me? Are we in the same lineage? What, what kind of messages? Might... The lineage of David is quite expansive because he has brothers, sisters, and relatives that reach down through the generations. The tree has many, many branches. And yes, you are on one of the branches. The message for you is to come close to the base, the roots of the tree, so that you may be fed directly. Because at this time you are being out in the wind at the ends of the branches, and the, the wind is moving from side to side, and sometimes that's very frightening. And you must get the message that there is stability at the root of the tree. Do you understand this? I know that you will get the, the, the uh, words that you need to understand. But right now, you need the stability. You need not to be out in the wind blowing on the branches, 
But you need to be close to the trunk, close to the tree, close to the roots, and feed directly from the, the earth and Mother Nature and Mother Earth. And this is the message for you because this will bring you the n nutrition in the life that you need. I know it's all symbolic, but it will be explained to you. Much love to you. And I see that you move from the being in the wind to being near the tree. And this is much more stable. Namaste. Namaste. Okay, thank you, David. And if there are no, more, we have no was, more questions here, so we will let you go. It was a joy to be with you. I think more of you should take my example of one thing. Do not care about what the people think about you. I know when I danced before the people, they said I was naked, but I was wearing something. Not much. But I danced before the people as a king. Why? I wanted to show my love for God. I wanted to show my reckless abandon for obeying him, for my love for him, for my truth that he had given to me. And so I danced before the people and did not care what they thought. Do you remember this? Perhaps you have not read the Bible. But I danced before them and all my relatives were embarrassed. They thought, oh, how shameful, that he danced before the people and before God, wearing nothing but a loincloth. But I was showing my true nature, my true God image. It was thankful, joyous, loving, kind, and did not care what anyone thought. And the outcome of that was great blessing, great joy and love. Do you understand this? Do not care what other people think. If God tells you to dance before the crowd and give praise to him, that's what you should do. I think that is a lesson for the world you live in today because there is so much pulling inward. So much embarrassment, so much put on you from other people, so much shame and guilt. Set it free. Find the truth of love within you, the purity of that love, the goodness, so that you do not care that you let it out. You can let it out and not be ashamed. Because your connection to God, as I was speaking earlier, is direct. And who can tell you that you are not doing the right thing if you obey the will of God, the love of God, the light of God, that's directly beamed into your soul? I bid you a great day. Thank you so much. We appreciate you coming today.